You might already know that our controller is a customizable controller. So that allows to create your own interfaces uh, for software synths or hardware synths. And uh, that's what I did. One of the great features of Pigments is the ability to create internal MIDI mapping. So that means that you just have to load a file to have your mapping already set. So you load a file on Pigments, load the layout on your array touch, and you're done. And I almost forgot, or in turn, just at the last minute idea to add the sequencer element in the alt layout. So that means that you can run a sequence in the background and still be able to play with Pigment Explorer. So if you want more information about this element, you can find a, a specific video on our walkthrough series. That was the Pigment Explorer. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask them uh, in the comment section and uh, hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to put a like on the video, subscribe if you want to stay updated on our last tips and tricks. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Bye.